I wanted to tell you about our next offering, which is a show that I wrote and my, my teaching partner, Tricia Todd, will be directing. It's called Rhino for Rhino, it's a side show of the soul. And that will be premiering here on the grand stage, May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and then the following week. And then we have the privilege of taking it to the International Plain Fringe Festival in Edinburgh, Scotland.
and endure the Librium and none. For I, being shady close to view, to the barbarian sister all your life, chanting faint hymns to the call, fruitless moon. Take time to pause, and by the next new moon, the seeding day, betwixt my love and me for everlasting bond of fellowship. Upon that day, either prepare to die for disobedience to your father's will, or else wed Demetrius as he would. On Diana's altar to protest for our austerity and single life. Relent, sweet Hermia, and lie, Sander, yield thy crazy title to my third right. You have her father's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermia's. Do you marry him? <laughs> I am, my lord, as well derived as he, as well possessed. My love is more than this. I am beloved of beauty is Hermia. Why should not I then prosecute my right? Demetrius, all about you to his head, made love to nature's daughter, Helena, and she, sweet lady, dotes, devoutly dotes, dotes in idolatry upon this spotted <coughs> and inconstant man. I must confess that I have heard as much, and with Demetrius, not to have spoke thereof. But Demetrius, come, and come, Aegeus. You shall go with me. For you, fair Hermia, look you fit your fancies to your father's will. For us, the law of Athens yields you up, which by no means we may extenuate, to death or to a vow of single life. Come, my Hippolyta. What? Cheer, my love?
Keep word, Lysander. We must starve our sight from others who mark deep in I will, my Hermia. Fellow, adieu. As you on him, Demetrius, don't on you. How happy some o'er other some can be. Well, I can try and call as fair as she, but what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. We would not know at all if he did know. For ere Demetrius looked on Hermia's eye, he held that oath that he was only mine. And when this hail and heat from Hermia felt, so he dissolved and showers of oaths did melt. <coughs> I will go tell him the fair Hermia's flight. Then to the wood will he tomorrow night pursue her. For this intelligence, if I have thanks, it is a dear expense. For hearing me not to enrich my pain, to have his sight thither, back again.
like a lie too. I will roar that I will do any man's heart good to hear me. I will roar that I will make the Duke say, let him roar again, let him roar again. And you should do it too terribly that you would frighten the Duchess and the ladies and they would shriek. And that would have to hang us all. I promise you, friends, if we should fright the ladies out of their wits, they would have no more discretion but to hang us. But I promise you, I will aggravate my voice, and I will roar you as gently as any sucking dove. I will roar you into any night here. You must play the part of a peerless for Peerless is a sweet-faced man, the most lovely gentleman-like man that one would meet in any summer's day. Therefore, you must needs play the heroes. Very well, then I will love you too.
But they do swear all their elves for fear creep into acorn cups and hide them there.
the governess of floods, pale in her anger washes all the air, that rheumatic diseases do about, and thorough this distemperature we see the seasons of them. The spring, the summer, the chilling autumn, angry winter change their want of liberties, and the maze of world by their increase knows not which is which. And this same progeny of evils come from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and origin. Why should Titania cross her over on? I do but beg a little changeling boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. The fair land buys not the child of me. His mother was a votress in my order. And in the spice of Indian air by night, will often have she gossiped by my side. When we would laugh to see the sails conceive and grow big belly with the wanton wit, and she, with pretty and swimming gait, her womb then rich with my young squire, would sail upon the land to fetch me trifles and return again, as from a voyage rich with merchandise. But she, being mortal, of that boy did die. And for her sake do I rear up her boy. And for her sake I will not part with him. How long within this wood intend you stay? Perchance till after Theseus's wedding day. If you will patiently dance in our lap and see our moonlight friends, go with us. If not, shun me and I will spare your hearts. Give me that boy, and I will go with thee. Not for thy fairy kingdom. <coughs> Fairies, away! We shall try down right if I longer stay. Well, go thy way! Now shut up from this throat before I torment thee. Thou shalt fly him, and he shall see thy love. Hast thou 
I know a place where the wild thyme blows, where ox lips and the nodding violet grows. Quite over canopy with luscious woodbine, with sweet musk roses and eglantine. There sleeps the tanya sometime in the night, folding these flowers with dance and delight. With the juice of this, I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. Take thou something, seek through this grove. A sweet Athenian lady's in love with a disdainful youth. Anoint his eyes, but do for the next thing he spies, maybe the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garments he hath on. And look thou meet me ere the first cock grow. Fear not, my lord, your servant shall do so. In thine eye, 
that shall appear When thou wakest it is thy dear Wake when some vile thing is near
that will never please. First, Pyramus must draw a sword to kill himself, which the ladies could not abide by. I'll answer that. Quite like a parlous fear. I believe we must leave the killing out. When all is done. Not a witch. I have a device to make all well. Bring me a prologue, and let the prologue seem to say, we will do no harm with our sword to that fear not killed them thee, and for the more better assurance, tell them that I, Pyramus, am not Pyramus, but bottom of the wheel, and this will put them out of fear. Well, we will have to prologue. Will not the ladies be afraid of the lion? I fear it. I promise you. Masters, we ought to consider with ourselves to bring in God's shield. A lion among ladies is a most dreadful thing, for there is not a more fearful wildfowl than your lion living, and we ought to look to it. And the prologue must say that he is not a lion. Nay, you must name his name, and have his face must be seen through the lion's neck, and he himself must speak through, saying thus, or to the same effect, ladies, or fair ladies, I would wish you. I would entreat you, I would request you, not to fear, not to tremble, my life or yours. If you think I come hither as a lion, it were no such thing. No, it were pity of my life. I am a man as other men are. And there, indeed, let him name his name and tell them plainly he is snubbed to join him. Well, if that may be, then all is well. Come, sit down and bring mother's son to rest your hearts. Pyramus, you begin once you have spoken.
reason to love keep little company together nowadays. Thou art as wise as thou art beautiful. Well, not so, neither. But if I don't quit enough to get out of this wood, I'd have enough to serve my own church. Out of this wood, do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here whether thou wilt or no. I'll give thee fairies to attend on thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing to thou on the Peace, Blossom, Cobweb, Moth, Mustard, Sea, and Castle. Ready, and I, and I, and I, and I. Where shall we go? Be kind, encourages his gentleman. Hop in his walks and gather in his eyes. Feed him with apricots and dewberries, purple grapes, green figs, and mulberries. Fluff the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moon. No, she has a new incursion. Thine, thou servant, 
compassion on a mispriced mood. I am not as guilty of Lysander's blood, nor is he dead for us that I can tell. I pray you, tell me that he is well. And if I could, what should I get there for? A privilege? Never! See me more. And from my painted presence part I so. See me no more. Whoever be dead. Bye. 
Thou seest his mother's secret place to fight. Hide, Eric, Robin, overcast the night. Thou starry welkin cover thou anon, with drooping fog as black as Asheron. And leave these testy rivals so astray as one come not within another's way. Like to Lysander, sometime frame thy tongue. Then stir Demetrius up with bitter wrong, and sometime rail thou like the Demetrius. And from each other look thou leave them thus, to o'er their brows death counterfeiting sleep, with lead legs and battered wings doth sleep. <coughs> Whilst I in this affair do thee employ, thou to my queen and beg her engine boy. Then crush this herb into Lysander's eye. When they next awake, all this derision shall seem a dream and fruitless vision. Then back to Athens shall the pair of faithful lovers wend, whose legal state of death shall never end. My fairy lord, this must be done with haste, for night is with dragons, but the clouds full fast, and yonder shines Aurora's harbinger whose approach goes wandering here and there to home to churchyards. Ah, but we are spirits of another sort. I with the morning love have all and sport. <laughs> <laughs> Notwithstanding haste, make no delay. We may have this business yet every day. Here comes one. Country 
proverb known that every man should take his own in your way shall be shown. Jack shall have Jill, naught shall go ill. The man shall have his merit, and all shall be well.
Hey lady, you got the love I need. Maybe more than enough. Oh darling, 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 walk a while with me. Follow them. 
fair Helena, and fancy following me. But my good lord, I wot not by what power, but by some power it is. My love to Hermia melted as the snow, and all the faith and virtue of my heart, the object and pleasure of mine eye, is only Helena. Fair lovers, you are fortunately met. Of this discourse we'll hear more now. Vegeus, I will overbear you, though. For in the temple by and by with us, these couples shall eternally be knit. Away with us to Athens. Three and three will hold the feast in great solemnity. Come, all of them. Are you sure that we are awake? It seems that yet we sleep, we dream. Do not you think the Duke was here and bid us follow him? Yea, my fox, and to follow us. And he did bid us follow to the temple. We are awake. Let's follow him, and by the way, let us recount our dreams.
discourse wonders. But ask me not what. For if I tell you I am not true with thee, I will tell you everything right as it fell out. Let's hear, sweet father. Not a word of me. All that I will tell you is that the Duke hath died. At your apparel together, meet presently at the palace, new strings to your beards, new ribbons to your pumps, every man will go his part, for the short and the long is our play is preferred. <laughs> Gentles, perchance you wonder. 
one at the show. But one's wrong. The truth make all things plain. This man is Pyramus, you would know. This beauty's lady, this be is <laughs> Sir Jane. This man with lime and rough cast up present wall. That vile wall which did these love asunder and through walls chain. Poor souls, they are content to whisper. The witch let no man wonder. This man, the lantern, the dog, and bush of floor present the moonshine. <laughs> By moonshine did these lovers leave no storm to meet, and I was his too. There, there.
tell you that the landlord is the moon. I, the man, is the moon. This thorn bush, my thorn bush. This dog, my dog.
top. Now the wasted brands do glow, and the screech owl, screeching loud, puts the wretch that lies in woe in remembrance of a shroud. And we fairies that do run by the triple Heggett's team, following darkness like a dream, now are from. Not a mouse shall disturb this hallow house. I am sent with room before to sweep the dust behind the door. Through this house, you glimmering light, by the dead and drowsy fire, every elf and fairy sprite of life's bird from briar, and this ditty after me, sing and dance it trippingly. Hand in hand with fairy grace, will we sing and bless this place. <laughs> Yeah. 